Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, me, literally right now editing, I realized I did not film an intro to this video. So, here I am making a debut. I literally have um, my night hair still because I'm frizzy. I literally woke up and wanted to edit this for you guys. Uh, but basically, I just wanted to jump on here and say thank you so much for clicking on this video. And... This video is just a random week in my life. There is a little bit of everything going on, some cooking. I show you guys us setting up our stroller and car seat system. And then I also um, have like a little clip of there of me in the nursery organizing it. Um, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in my next video. But for now, enjoy this video and thank you guys so much for watching. Okay, so if I want to take them out, let's say I'm done. Okay, grab two of them. Up. Pull that down. Okay, wait. So I'm going to put them in the car. Yeah. I'm going to take it and do it. That's the whole thing. That's the whole thing? That's the whole thing. I'm going to do this. Oh, wait. okay. We'll snap it back in. No. Oh, so it's just this. Yeah, it's already snapped. No, that, that side's not. Yes, it is. I already pulled this. So. I wanted to do it on my own. Okay, so. There you go, I'm getting in the car. Yep. Yep. So easy. Look how yep. freaking light. Yep. And then if I want to. Okay, so say. We're getting in the car to collapse it. Mm -hmm. These are already down to the shortest, I'm guessing. Yeah, because this, this extends it. The color. So, I'm guessing there has to be something somewhere. somewhere. What about, you no? Know, it's these. Right back here? No. Definitely want to be that. No. It's not that. No, because that stays in there. You sure about that? Yes, 100%. That stays in there. You don't have to take that out every time. Okay, so it has to be... It's in here somewhere. Uh, I don't know right now. Wait, I found it. Down, pull down. No, it's definitely not. What's that? It's, it has to be something very easy. Push it forward. No, Chad. Down? Maybe, maybe this. Pull out and down? No. Uh, Wait, what's this? Right here. What's that? So then you pick it up and then you put that in your car. How did you do that? So, I forget. Oh, right here. Uh. hey guys so it is the next day um i think in the previous clip we did um the stroller we set up the stroller the bassinet and the um car seat and so now i just got back from target 
I'm just going to look through and show you guys everything that I got. I don't know. Um, I kind of just had no plan on what I needed to get from there. But I picked up a few extra baby stuff. I have a baby shower to go to um, for my brother and his girlfriend this Sunday. And so I'll show you guys what I got her. I have to pack the bag and everything. Um, yeah, and I'm uploading this after so I can show you guys. So I don't know if she watches my stuff or not, but I will show you guys everything. Um, I want to put the bag together to see if I need to get anything else and then go from there. Um, we are due two days apart, which is absolutely insane. And yeah, so I'm excited for this weekend for her and let's bring you along into the nursery and let's show you guys what I got. Okay guys, so now that we are in the nursery, I wanted to show you guys what I got from Target. I got a bag full of random stuff and then I got a bag for the um, gift bags. So first things first is I bought another bra. I feel like every time I show you guys that I'm buying something, it's a bra. But I got another bra. This is like one of my favorite sports bras right now. Just because it has a lot of support for like under here. But it's not a wire. And it's not a lot of um, padding. Because I don't want to accentuate anything else that I already have. Because the babies are growing. Okay. Um, next I got some diapers for her. Uh, for the diaper rival. And then I picked up this. Frida Baby nose sucker for them. The snot sucker, shall I say. So I got that as well. And then for me, I picked up the Frida Baby Medi Frida. This is um, the medicine dispenser and pacifier. So if the baby is um, sick, it is nice because you just put the pacifier in their mouth. And then, bam, shoot it right in. And you're set. So I got that for me. Um, I got the bottle and dish soap um, for them as well. I got three different pacifiers. I'm not sure uh, which one he's going to want. So I got the itsy gritsy ones. And I think, okay, so I didn't get um, two of the different ones, but I just got two different colors because one is the tan and white other one is like the blue variety pack and then i also got the advent soothe pacifier um this is one that like i feel like they use a lot like in the hospital but i could be wrong um so i picked up these two because i actually don't have any pacifiers and i wanted to see which ones to buy because i'm new to all this you know i don't really know what's going on and then random uh, purchases I got more spoons because I don't know why but I feel like we go through so many spoons before like our dishwasher is full and then I need to um, clean dishes before that so that we have clean spoons I also got the butt paste in a jar um, this is for myself I'm trying to stock up little by little on necessities that he needs just so I'm not out buying a bunch all at one time. I feel like every Target trip I kind of just go buy a few things here and there. Just so it's not, like I said, an expense all at once. So I got this as well. And then let me show you guys the bag that I got. I know this is not exciting, but... So I got this bag. It says, Welcome Sweet Baby, which is so cute. Um got her the boppy so I needed something that would fit this in there and then I also if I if that bag doesn't fit everything which I'm hoping it will but if that bag doesn't fit everything then I got this extra bag it's kind of like a matching bag um this one's just a little bit smaller so I'm going to get that ready right now and just see I'll show you guys everything else that I got her um Give me a second. Oh, and I got her this cute little card. It says baby shower time. And then pink um, tissue paper. So let me show you what I got her. I got this boppy for her. 
I wanted to get her a boppy. It was on her registry. And I feel like boppies are essential. We shall see because I'm not sure. And then let me pull out the baggie that I got. Okay. So I got the boppy. I got the dish soap, the Frida baby, it's not sucker, the diapers. And then I got her a few outfits. These are the outfits I got, which are so adorable. So this ties into like a little headband. I got these little cheetah leggings. How adorable. And then it ma it uh, goes with this top. It says, sorry boys, daddy says no dating. And I think that is absolutely adorable. I feel like my brother's going to love that. So that's a cute little matching set. And then... I picked up these cute little like tights stockings. They're pink and they're like um, that ribs material, which I think is so adorable. Babies in these are to die for. I also got this outfit, which I think is so adorable. It is this cute little onesie with the little ruffle shoulders and then the matching little pants to go with it. Like, I cannot. I can't. And then I got a little pack of bows. I have a little beanie set. I also got her this outfit, which I think is so cute. This is for three months, so I feel like um, Easter would be really cute. I don't know. I just love freaking... I just think they're, they're the most adorable outfits ever. I think boy clothes are really cute, but because I'm having a boy... I'm like biased on that, but then when I go to shop for her, I'm like, oh my god, these are so cute. Um, I also got her this little passy clip, and it is um, personalized with their baby's name, which is Molina. And then, I think that is it. So yeah, let me put this all together, see if I'm going to need to use both bags. And... To see if I need to buy her anything else because I have a shopping problem. Okay guys, so I put everything all in one bag and I forgot to mention that I um, got her a boppy cover as well. Forgot to mention that. Um, it's cute. Her baby shower, or not baby shower, her um, room theme is like little baby giraffes. They unfortunately did not have that, but they had like the little elephants, which I think is cute because it's still like animal themed. So I got her that. Also, I wanted to show you guys, um, oh, I almost forgot to put this in there. Oh, anyways, so I wanted to show you guys, someone sent me this, and I don't know who from Amazon, um, I got it delivered at my house, and I was like, oh, that's so sweet. Um, someone got me a little portable sound machine, which I think is so cute, and such a thoughtful gift. I know it was on my registry, but it didn't say who it, um, sent me it which is nice i have the hatch for in his actual nursery but this is nice to take on the go if he's staying at my mom's house or if i have him out in the living room it's nice to just have something that we could put elsewhere without keep on um unplugging the hatch so yeah i'm going to organize a little bit of his room i have some bins that i got from target to organize some stuff and that they're all matching because I want them to all look in sync um but yeah I will show you guys a little bit of that it's not too exciting his room is like basically done I just have random stuff everywhere now because I am getting things like I keep buying things but they kind of don't have a place for them yet because I have Oliver because I am starting to buy um my like hospital bag stuff which is like all this stuff up here but i want to um get my suitcase ready and just lay it out i'm not gonna pack it yet i just want to start throwing stuff in there that i'm buying for it just so it doesn't get mismatched with anything else um and then yeah just closer to his due date i'm gonna start doing little bits of cleaning here and there like I don't want to obviously um, sanitize his pacifiers yet. I want to wait until we're closer, probably um, right, like right around New Year's. I'll probably do that. Um, but yeah, 
I will show you guys what I do in this room. Okay guys, so I'm not gonna show you exactly everything that I'm putting in my um, hospital bag, but I just wanna show you guys what I'm like doing to um, get things like, kind of organized. So I got these, these bins at Target and I have shelving in his closet for everything that um, he's gonna need. So I'm gonna organize everything and put them in these baskets. So I just got like bras, socks, um, underwear, stuff like that. So I'm just gonna put everything in here for now. And then I kind of have like a designated place for it. Okay, so just like this, this is kind of like my little grab on the go um, hospital stuff. So it'll be nice because then I can know exactly if I buy anything else to so put it there. But other than that, I'm just gonna clean up a little bit and I am honestly just wanting to be in this room. A lot of stuff doesn't need done, but I just want it to be done just because the closer that it's done, the closer that we are to baby. Hello everyone, welcome back. So in, for today, I'm gonna just bring you guys along for me to cook. My mom makes the best spaghetti sauce, so I asked her for her recipe, and we're going to try to make it today. I don't know if it's going to be as good because she is really good at cooking, and I'm okay. So, first we just got some hot sausage, ground beef, and then we're going to make a meaty sauce. I'll show you guys how bad I mess this up or do really good, so. Okay, so basically I just took some ground beef and I have it on my pan. As you guys can hear, it is browning. I like to chop mine up like really small, so I just take a spatula and just like turn it and keep kind of like mashing up the meat so that it is nice and little pieces. So as that's browning, I kind of just wait until I see majority of the top kind of get like light brown and then I switch it to the other side I'm going to drain it and then start on the hot sausage we're going to kind of do the same thing as far as browning it as you guys can see I literally look like a hot mess today I am in just like this really big baggy oversized sweater and it's not the cutest vibe but it gets the job done my hair needs washed tonight it's looking a little ratchet my eyelashes are like basically non-existent anymore and here I am so it's whatever because nobody's seeing me today besides my husband actually I I'm gonna lie I went in for a client today so she did see me like this but I have a mask on so like a lot of it was hidden and then the grocery store people saw me and we all know that that does not matter okay it does not matter so as you guys can see it's still browning So I saw on Google or something like the best way to clean rings because my ring is so dirty just because I think because of me rubbing my lotions on my belly so much and so often that they're getting like a film on them. So I read that if you put Dawn Dish Soap a container with hot water and you let them sit for a few hours that they get super sparkly. So that's what I'm doing right now. I have it over in this like little dish I'll show you have it in this little dish and I should have done it before and after but I'm hoping it works because I don't feel like taking it to the jeweler I could easily but I just don't feel like it I kind of just want like a quick fix so we shall see if that works as you guys can see it removed a lot of like dirt and grime it must have been like in the diamonds but it works pretty good. I mean, it's pretty shiny. Definitely think that I need to take it to a jeweler to get off everything. But it did a pretty good job. So I definitely recommend. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to add in some parsley flakes. 
And then, looking in my spices, I'm going to take, if I can find it, I'm gonna open up my new pepper because I can't find my old one. I'm not sure if I was out or not, I probably was. So opening up this. And a little bit more salt. And I just have this on like low. This is just gonna kinda like sit here and cook and marinate all day. Because then you get all of the seasonings. I will pop back in once that is done and I'm making the actual like noodles. I personally like thin spaghetti noodles so I just picked up some of these. Um, and then we're going to have a bunch of sauce left over. I'm going to send some to my mom's house. You can also freeze it. Um, I'm not big on leftovers so I might not freeze it. But... I can give it to my mom and she can have some and my like my brothers and stuff so I feel like I always make more than I should because I don't know how to make small portions apparently but I'm just gonna have this sitting here all day it's 12 actually it's one o'clock on the dot now so I'm not planning on eating dinner until probably around like 4 35 so I'm just gonna let that sit all day you don't have to because everything's cooked in there like the meat was cooked and everything so you could just heat up the sauce with the meat and everything would be done but i want to, to marinate and get all the sauces in there and yeah it's gonna be super good okay guys i know it does not look like that appetizing because whatever let me show you this is what it looks like it's a super meaty sauce i just actually packed all some all of it up for my mom to take too so it makes a really big dish if you do like the portions that i did so we only have um this this and then these two left and i also gave her sauce to freeze so i'm going to sit down enjoy this and yeah thank you guys so much for cooking with me